Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dash here once again with another ARC official informational gift. Today, I would like to talk to you about the ammo containers, which, as you can see on the upper portion of my screen here, uh, I have one right there. I've, I've actually got one in the four corners of my base to provide ammo to my tech turrets that I have outside. So, what you can do, um, I have found out that even though it doesn't say that there's a stack count here, there actually is a maximum amount that you can put into an ammo container, and that is 300 stacks. Uh, I haven't found a weight limit yet, so I don't know about that, but I do know for a fact that the stack count is 300 because I've reached it at my other one. So the amazing thing about these is you can have all your ammo just stored in them. And as you can see, just looking at it, it'll tell you exactly how much you have of each item. So I know I've got 10 chain bullets in there, 627 advanced rifle bullets, 69 it looks to be the advanced sniper bullets i've got pheromone darts in there because i'm just letting them decay into trank darts i've got the net ammo stone arrows or not those those are trank arrows not stone arrows i've got spear bolts boulders the the new oil pitch jars cannonballs all of them they're all able to fit in there and you can see the exact count just by looking at it you don't have to access it and they're like okay i've got uh, looks like two rows and two stacks of advanced. No, you don't have to do any of that. All you got to do is look at it. But as I said, it is at uh, uh, 300 stacks. So if I wanted to put these in there, I had to take the boulders out. Now the boulders cannot go back in. So that's something to keep in mind. take all of my advanced bullets grenade I'm gonna take those out too and we'll move all of these to a different one so let me go ahead and move all these real quick oh we're on a server save yep give me one moment Yeah, they are not able to fit the uh, the grenades, so it's only ammo that can be loaded into a turret or a catapult or a ballista or any one of those particular items. So when you're placing your ammo container down, they do have a range icon. As you can see, it's a decent size range that you can have that it will reload from and because I've got alphas and everything all over here I've got all of my tech turrets on each corner so that way it keeps my base safe but yeah as I said the the range is quite enormous it is right there you can see the uh, tech ceiling tile Yeah, so I could have more tech turrets up here, and that one ammo box would feed into both turrets, or both sets of turrets. But yeah, um, I hope you got what you needed out of this video. I hope that the information was helpful to you, and you can see exactly how big the radius of them are. Let's see. It's right there, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you just count 10 
ceiling tiles by a lot more than 10 walls because that right there is eight and it's two down so nine ten I don't know I want to say 16 high 14 high so 10 out one way 10 ceiling tiles out one way and 14 to 16 up and then obviously down and the other way so I hope that gives you a good indication of its visual range and plan accordingly and keep your bases safe I would like to say thank you to my current 400 subscribers you guys are absolutely amazing if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see when I'm going to upload a new video uh, if the video was helpful to you in any way make sure you give it a thumbs up to help the YouTube analytics other than that as always have fun stay safe and keep on surviving